I'm lost. Can you give me a ride home, please? Sure thing. I love hitchhikers. I live out at Catfish View, Mount Gordo, by the lighthouse. It's very isolated. Am I glad you came along? I was out hiking and got... Lost. I've been trying to flag down a car for over an hour. Why didn't you just call someone to come pick you up? I couldn't get a signal on my cell, and I don't really have anyone to call, not since Mama passed. She was very hard on me, how I loved her. I have her hair in my backpack. Okay, what? The days get long out at that house all alone. I don't get many visitors anymore. The gardener used to come on Fridays till he got real sick and fell off that are you sure this is the right way? I just need to make a quick stop at a friend's place. I think you'll like them. The gardener used to come on Fridays till he got real sick and fell off that cliff. Oh, well, you know how they like to talk. But now, it's just me. Living on soup. Soup I make from old soup. Soup after soup after soup. I have to get out of there sometimes and clear my head. Those damn birds always Stay singing off the no road. matter how many times I poison them. Bird soup. Soup with bird. Birds with soup. I don't recognize any of this. Where are we? Don't worry. These mountains all start to look the same after a while. Every night I think I found peace, but then morning comes and with it another fresh hell. I come up here to escape them and they're still singing, taunting me. No. The house hasn't been the same since Mama passed. Most days, I just work on my project so I can be rich and have all the gentleman callers I want, like a real lady sipping on tea on a porch. You know, I love working with rubber, burning it, tasting it. You've got shoes, you've got feet, am I right? Hello? Clothy cloth ears, are you listening? What do you got? What do you got? I heard you're interested in taking care of some lost travelers for a price. And so it is. And so it is. Leave the body. Take the gold. Come on. Move. Move. Apex Predator in action.
There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using the down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Don't aim at something you ain't prepared to kill. Go on, put him down. In the head! Trevor, you're colder than a mother-in-law's kiss. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else of nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. You blew his damn head off. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. Now lay him in the shade. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while.
got the photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. Solo que dijo ella. Hey, ese, ¿qué onda? Hey, amigo, where you from, Bato? It's none of your business, huh? Okay? Hey, huh? it's a slight huh? accent. Huh? Fuck you. Hey, so huh? I grew up in Canada, huh? huh? What's a big fucking deal? Huh? You fucking whoa, whoa, racist! Whoa, 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 whoa. And before hey. you fucking ask. Chill, home. Chill. No, I'm not a motherfucker. <laughs> Give a damn about your little girl. Smack talk me now, Essay! <laughs> <laughs> 